Hi, I'm John Geckler for the Gibbs Singleton Museum of Fine Art in Santa Fe, New Mexico. And today I want to talk about one of Gibbs' pieces called Taos Blue. Now in Taos, which is about an hour north of Santa Fe, you have to understand that blue is a powerful and mystical color. And when you see the town, you will see that the gates and the doors and the window frames are blue. And the reason is that the blue protects you from evil. The abuelas, the grandmothers, tell you that this tradition goes back to the Spanish conquistadors in the 17th century. They probably looked, picked it up from the Moors of Spain. It actually goes all the way back to ancient Egypt. And in fact, the Egyptians would bury people with blue objects and blue wraps around the mummies to protect them from evil in the afterlife. Now, Gibbs' experience with Taos started when he came out to New Mexico, landed in Santa Fe, and he fell in with a group of native artists. Amazing people think about Alan Hauser and Earl Biss and R.C. Gorman and T.C. Cannon and so on and so on. Now, Gibb was part Cherokee, and in fact, part Seminole as well, we think. And he had never really acknowledged that because in his generation, that wasn't something that you talked about. So here he is hanging out with these great artists, and they said, dude, you're a native. And they're going on long walks, and they're having deep talks about native culture and tradition and mythology and spirituality and so on. And Gibb falls in love with that. And this is the beginning of his doing Native American art. It goes all the way back to something like his Spirit of the Medicine Man, all the way forward to Geronimo, which is one of the last pieces he did. So Gibbs' experience with Taos probably started with R.C. Gorman, who lived in Taos. That's probably how he went there the first time, but he would go back again and again and again. When people would come to visit, he'd like to take them to Taos. So one day he and his daughter Shelly are up there, and they're wandering around taking photographs and so on. And Shelly says, what's this Taos blue you're always talking about? Gibb points to a native guy over on the corner in a blue blanket. And he said, see how that blue blanket protects him? It does because he believes it does. Gibb said, that's the magic of that blue. It can be anything that you want it to be. He said, me, it makes me feel like I can touch the sky. In fact, on a good day, I can become the sky. The point of this, according to Shelly, is that it's not that seeing is believing. It's that believing is seeing. And this is the truth of art. Great art is great because people perceive it as great. It's powerful because they feel it as powerful, they experience it as powerful. So what Gibb is doing with all of his stuff is he's inviting you to believe. He's inviting you to believe in love. He's inviting you to believe in compassion. He's inviting you to believe in a better future. That's what his art is about. And I think Taos Blue is a really good representation of that. So thanks for tuning in. I'm John Geckler for the Gibb Singleton Museum.